Hey guys, Kipsa, and welcome everybody to Jurassic World Evolution, a brand new Let's Play. We're going to be running here on the channel. I am so excited to play this game. I cannot express it. I've been waiting. As soon as this was announced, I was like, I have to play this. I have to let's play this. It just looks my type of game, and I think... Judging by your reactions when I announced it to you guys on the Twitter and Discord, you are excited to see the Let's Play as well. Now, I have done the starting part of this, um, when I say starting part, the first five minutes, just to see how it ran whilst recording. It's fine. It looks beautiful, I can say. But there's one thing which really annoys me, uh, and it's probably something for me personally which would rate this game down at least, uh, you know, from... A, being like maybe an eight down to like a seven or a six is the voice acting. The voice acting is shockingly horrible. It's so drawn out. It's it pauses. It's just and it's horrible to let's play over. But what I'm going to do because I know a lot of you guys like to hear the voice acting, so I'm not going to talk over any of it in this episode. If you want me to talk over it in next episode, let me know in the comments down below. Show your love for the series because that's what's going to keep the series going. Anyway, let's go, guys, and just, uh, yeah, keep an ear out for the voice acting, because it's it's bad. It gets me angry. Very angry, I can say. Oh, may I say welcome? My name is Dr. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. So this is basically a little tutorial island. I'll showcase as much off in this episode, so next episode we can get stuck into all of the cool stuff but yeah this is a little tutorial it's a, it's an okay tutorial to be honest it's a bit i'd say a bit drawn out but um it gives you the basics so we're gonna have a uh, this douche <laughs> i'm cabot finch <laughs> public relations and crisis management and i'm here to yeah help you're just you. here to talk over me you'll start by building a hammond creation lab okay hammond creation lab here he comes we've already started on an enclosure for you you should just attach it to the side but watch out for dinosaurs Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> See, there's, I think, right, whilst I do this, there's things in this game, there's the voice actor in this game, which is absolutely pointless. Absolutely pointless. He just, that guy doesn't even need to say half the stuff he says. It's just, ah, uh, I should stop moaning about it. But anyway, here we go. Let's, let's stop and let's play, let's shall we? Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> Because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Okay, uh, like I said, the game itself looks stunning. It looks beautiful. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. The, the map designers really have done themselves proud. I can say it just looks stunning. And the animation on dinosaurs as well looks absolutely stunning. So um, top props, to, I'll say, I'll, you know, the map is 9 out of 10. A 10 out of 10, there's a few things which annoys me. Ah, so, so we need to put a path into here because obviously this has to be connected. Let's do it like that. No straight lines. <laughs> now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Right, so we click it. Okay, hatching bay. We could do two at once. Um, so five dinosaurs in total. I'm just going to have a quick look through all of this. Um, so there's some management stuff here you can do. You can upgrade it. Uh, you can deactivate all that cool stuff. Incubate our first dinosaur. And there's apparently 42 dinosaurs to have in total. And there are skins for the dinosaurs, I think. Um, now, they're not obviously loot box skins. I don't know how you get them. But we can see if we click this. It says skin basic. Um, basic bish. Um, I don't know how you get skins, I'm sure. It will explain somewhere in the tutorial. So let's incubate for $30,000 a dinosaur. That's pretty cheap, man. The machinations of the ambitious... Undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws, what can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much, and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. 
And a next. Yeah, they'll, they'll always be a next, but they can make money on the franchise. 100%. Whilst it's making money, they will make a next film. <laughs> so Dinos are ready to release. Okay. And I was just having a look to see if we could see inside of here. To see the old dinosaur, but I don't think we can. Let's, uh, let's release old Struthio Mimus into the wild. As you can see, he runs out of his little thingy. Oh, that really hurts my voice. <laughs> Life. Oh, it's begins. so cute, though. The most precious one. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So well done. I guess. Okay, thank you, Jeff, for your long pauses midway through senses. He looks very cute. We shall call you Chickpea. Chickpea shall be the name of our very first dinosaur we have ever made in Jurassic World Evolutions. He is very cute indeed. Look at that little fella. The Hammond Aww. Foundation has three main areas of interest. Though, look. Security, ah. entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out hmm. to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Excellent. Okay, so we could choose the three. I have already decided in those, like, four seconds the guy mentioned them that we're going to go for entertainment division because we want to make the place very entertaining for some public guests. We want to bring as many people into the place and, you know what? More humans. More food for the dinosaur. <laughs> okay, let's go for entertainment. Isaac. Hey. Hey, Isaac. I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Thank you, Isaac. Um, I could have probably read that without having to voice act it, but okay. Build, connect, and power an expedition center for 250,000 smackaroos. Let's do that. I, I, I love the look of the game. Contracts I have to say. can be requested from That's the beautiful. division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Okay. Uh, we haven't actually looked around the, the tutorial park quite yet, so let's have a quick gander. Well, actually, no, let's put this into build, because it may um, may take a little longer. So we can... Uh, I want to see... Is there... There is... A way to sn I wish there was an easier way to um, rotate these, because it's not the greatest. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of wondering, what's the point of this building cost thing? Is it me, or is the difference between an extra, like, $20 not really... Worth having that feature. So one more thing, your reputation, your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. With a little bug there. Okay, so. We have the pathway that's building. Let's have a little gander around the park. What do we have here? We have, um, we can't click on any of these things. Uh. The entertainment division is taking notice of your success. As your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity oh, to tackle more challenging missions. Next, unlock Savannah. What's that? Like a Savannah biome? That'd be pretty cool if it was. Um, right. Help island management. I'm hey, Claire, Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've okay, tried to well, set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. That that was very nice. That was short and sweet. I liked that voice acting. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so Isaac wants us to... Hey, okay. it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> it wasn't funny. <laughs> You're not funny, Isaac. Shut up. Okay, so he wants us to acquire 50% genome for the Ceratosaurus. Okay, $1 million for that. Wow, these guys just got money throwing around. Jesus. Okay, start that mission. Um, 
interesting. So, what are we doing? Yeah. Obviously, you right, tell us. Look, I am all about the show. And with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new okay. dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. Uh, yeah, no, what I'm saying is, let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. Okay, we could do that. Get some fresh dinosaurs. And um, this has got an exclamation mark. Why? So we can have here the expedition map. Okay. Um, in Gen database, which looks to be achievements, maybe. Yeah, it's just like um. Yeah, just achievements, it looks like. Pretty cool. Okay. Whoops. What is... Oh, hello. I don't know what's just gone gone on there. Uh, what do we want to do? So they want us to acquire 15 genome serotonin. Use the expedition center and fossil center to acquire and extract new fossils. Um, expedition center. Okay. So here's... Where's the expedition center? That thing we just built. Oh, wow. No! An expedition Shut up. will allow you to send can, dig look at the rain. around the world in search oh. of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true look lifeblood. The rain. Wow, okay. Top notch. Well done to the uh, the graphical designers here on this game. Okay, view expedition map. So we need to get a ceratosaurus. Which, okay, so it does say what we can get. Um, that one has what? None of these. So these are, ah, Ceratosaurus is there. What else have we got? We've got just one more here, which is the Ceratosaurus again. Um, and here, uh, I can't even pronounce, what the hell? <laughs> a Huayangosaurus. Huayangosaurus. Well, being, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so we could go for, what's the difference between this one, 75,000, and this one, 90,000? Surely you would go for the 75,000 one, possibly? Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. There it is. Look at the helicopter go. Wow. Now, I did pre-order this, so we should have some helicopter skins, maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, uh -huh. Uh -huh. which means you can do more research <laughs> to build better facilities Wrecky? and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. Same. Okay, Same. Cabot Finch, you are very annoying. So let's have a look at the fossil center. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> okay, a few fossils. Let's have a look here. Wow. Okay, so we've really got some. We've got the Struthiomimus fossil. Two of those. This looks like a Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. I remember those from school. And the Ceratosaurus here. So we could go extract DNA for ten thousand. Which does something. Okay. Oh, I see. So I'm guessing the more we do, the more um, the more percentage actually we get. And I, what does that give us? Maybe they're just like better stats on the dinosaur. Possibly. I don't know. Because um, we don't want hundred percent for dinosaurs, thoroughbreds. Surely. Once that does that, let's have a look around here. So we have contracts, reputation, obviously missions here, which we've got finance. We're making a loss, apparently. Profit per minute is minus $7,000. That's, that's very bad. <laughs> that's really, really bad. Um, we don't have anyone coming into our... Yeah, we don't have anyone coming into our, uh, our park at the moment, of course. Island navigation, we have one, two, three, four, five, six islands. Now, I, I think when I had a look at this island, uh, uh, Isla Nublar is the uh, the main island, basically, and these ones are, I'm guessing, like, I don't know what they teach you, but um, you, you basically have to go through these, and then you get to your Isla Nubla. Um We just had a look at that, but we can't really... How do we increase our finances? I don't know. Expedition maps, here we go. The fossils, we have done you okay. should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center that will increase the amount of viable data you have to create okay. dinosaurs so i'm guessing this is just, yeah this has come back from uh the dig site we just put out so we've got 
quite a few here, and we're still going on this one, though. Extracting. Is it bugged out? Have I broken it? <laughs> I may have broken the game already. Uh, no, surely not. There we go. Now we can click on them. Um, right. Extract DNA. There we go. Looks like we're going to get... It. This looks like a terrifying fellow. And we can now sell 80,000 for some rhodium. Sell that. Excellent. Nice. Bit of money on top of things. That's paid pretty much for the dig sign. So, what else do we have here at the moment? We have the research center. Interesting. What's this? The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. A whole new world awaits me? I don't know. Research. Oh, okay. So, a research allows you to improve and expand multiple aspects of the city. Okay. Someone, okay. Okay. Let's have a look and see. So, oh, okay. So, there's quite a bit we can research into. Let's say we want to research buildings. What can we do? Wow. Okay. So, there's quite a few buildings you can research as well. Pretty cool. We can have here. What's this? A clothes shop? A uh, yeah. <laughs> Everything, that's the first thing we research. Typical me. Okay. We done yet on this one? We are. So we can extract the DNA. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe. Making money off of um, things which aren't created by God. Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> it looks beautiful. Research complete. Clothes shop. Can we put the clothes shop in? We can. Ah, oh, look at this. Let's make some profit. I wish it gave us how much profit we we're making down the bottom right instead. We can put a hotel down. A gift shop. Now, oh, let's see. One thing I don't like about this game, and I don't know if you guys feel the same, the same way. Is the buildings look a bit... The buildings look a little bit too... Ammo 2070 sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. There is nowhere to place this. Um, how do we get rid of that landscaping? Here we go. Is this what we really want to be doing though on the tutorial islands? I feel not. I feel this is probably a waste of time. So we won't do that yet. We'll, we'll, we'll finish this off. 65%. Okay. Incubate and release at the Hammond Center. So we can create a thingamajuga majugu, a ceratosaurus. For 550,000! My god! The truth of Minus was only for 30k. I was thinking to myself, you know what, if they actually had these, if it was $30,000 for like a dinosaur, like a, like a Struthio Minus, I'd be like, yeah, that's, that's, that, I'd buy one. <laughs> I would legit buy one. Five, half a mil though is a bit, a bit much, but I'm guessing this is going to be uh, a main attraction. Attraction. Where is Chickpea in the little park? Chickpea! A Chickpea? Chickpea, I. Uh, there you are. We see you. Hey. Oh, you're so cute. What are you doing, Chickpea? I like that. I like the I like the models in that. I have to say, it's it's very very a very pretty game. Um, I did watch a few videos of. Can we open this? Oh, we can. No, we, do. we don't want to open it quite yet. Um, yeah, I was watching a video of the developers talking about the uh, the animations and all that, and you know they seem very, very passionate, and you can tell that they've done a great job on it. Ceratosaurus, we are waiting upon you. Whilst we do that, is there anything we've missed out which I can showcase on this episode? Operations, we have the ranger station. What does that do? Um, we dispatch to repair buildings and objects, uh, resupply feeders, take photographs. And medicate dinosaurs. Okay. Tranquilize that. I think this will probably be um, quite important. We're just going to shove you right there. Because <laughs> why not? Because um, we want to take some photographs for those uh, thumbnails. <laughs> uh, bam. There you go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, the buildings look a little bit too samey samey for my liking. But um, uh, what I can see, you can't edit like the colors of the buildings you know planet coast you can edit like you put things on them and all that stuff i wish you could do that on here that i don't know why they haven't done that um that would have been pretty cool but obviously that's a lot of work my advice take this contract uh, really 150,000? uh maybe increase the dinosaur genome okay what dinosaur is it a uh we'll have a look in a second we've got to release 
Trick, I, do we, are we doing the wrong thing here, guys? We're releasing this big ass dinosaur in with chickpea. Um, now, chickpea, I think. I think we've got. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, he's a big fella. Give us a roll, mate. No? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. Trick P? Happy guest is what we strive to maintain here on the island. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos. Just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Look at this guy, though. Where's he going? <gasps> oh my god, Chick Pete! No, no! Oh! Good god! <laughs> and now we reach the inevitable. Life begets. Fuck you, Jeff Goldblum! But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself Was this avoidable? The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story. Oh, I feel so bad. Why did they do that? Chickpea, no. Uh, what was this? CRT001. We could rename you to Dick. That's what, oh, my God. I feel bad. Well, Chickpea did not last long. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on that bombshell, I think we have to end the episode there. Because, well, my God. Um, yeah. Rest in peace, Chickpea. Um, press F to pay respects in chat in the, <laughs> in the comments. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed Jurassic World Evolutions Episode 1. Like I said, I'm going to be doing five episodes of these, so if you do want to see more, definitely try and show your support in whatever way you can, just so I know you guys are enjoying it. And thank you all for watching, um, and I shall see you in the next episode. Until then, guys, have a fantastic day. Cheers. Give us out. Guilt underneath all